Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. We thought we'd show you our engine tuner driver display unit in the real world. So come along with me while I do a parts run and you can watch how the display unit keeps me informed about the engine's vital um, components and what's going on. As you'll be able to see, the car's stone cold now. We've got a 45 degree coolant temp. Something to keep an eye on when pulling out first thing. This particular car we're driving doesn't have oil pressure, oil temp or fuel pressure currently fed into it. It will be when the customer's ready. But that's the br brilliant part about the DDU is that we can add stuff in later on if you haven't got it all now at the same time. got some heat in the car and the little blue coolant uh, light has gone out so obviously blue signals that the car is cold and if we were unfortunate enough to get into a state where the car is uh, starting to overheat a little bit we'd get a red coolant light pop up on the dash um, the dash is also configurable so you can have a big pop-up message so all you've got to do is keep your eyes on the road and if you see a big pop-up message on the screen say something like warning coolant temperature high or if you've got the oil pressure and temperature sensors you could have for instance warning oil pressure low that just means you can focus on driving and you can rely on the ECU to let you know if there's a problem with any of your engines vials so we've just pulled over um, just I want to quickly show you something um, you've got obviously all the data um, that is configurable so you can have whatever you want on there uh, one of the fancy features we've got is it records your highest um, value so for instance if you had say half a bar boost it would record half a bar boost so you could drive the car you can then pull over like we have now and you can have a look at the screen and you can say all right okay so we've generated half a bar boost that's what it's expecting ideal there's a button on the bottom right hand side which is reset ph which is reset peak hold so we're going to press that one now so we can reset everything and then i can carry on driving and then when i pull over again i can check to see if anything is out of tolerance so you've just joined us uh, at the petrol station for a quick fuel stop while we've stopped we've programmed the display with a very low boost limit warning just so we can show you on the drive back one of the uh, limits warning signs that can come up on the dashboard as you're driving obviously these are all configurable to each car individually make sure that you have a look at our YouTube channel and our other uh, videos where you'll find instructions on how to set up the display and turn it on how to use it there'll be a series of YouTube short videos so you don't have to watch the whole thing you can just pick the one that you want to know about if it's not covered in the instructions or in one of the videos then feel free to reach out to the team we will be happy to guide you through setting it up and making it work obviously every car is different every ECU is different the possibilities are endless so we do as much as we can with the information we receive from you before sending the unit out but that doesn't mean that it's limited there we can set it all up with you either over the phone via email and if you've got any questions or any features you'd like added let us know because this is an ever-growing ever-developing product and we'll uh, do our best to incorporate them as we reach the slip road we'll apply some throttle now we'll build some boosts and we'll get our warning Simple press the tick, gets rid of the warning, you can carry on driving until it happens again. I hope you found this video to be informative and uh, a better look at our display unit. There are other pages which if we scroll through quickly you can see them. Again, all fully customizable to the user. Currently, these display units will work with 
Link ECUs, Haltech ECUs, and Mtron ECUs. We're always upgrading them and adding different ECUs to our platform. So make sure to follow us on our socials to keep up to date with all things Engine Tuner. Give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, and you won't miss out on any updates. We're currently working on other ECUs behind the scenes, so make sure to check back to see if the ECU that's in your vehicle currently is compatible with the display unit. I'm Ben, and this has been Engine Tuner. Thanks. Bye.